Okay, so we're Team Care, and um, I'm Joe. Jason. Jared. And um, we made a ball project. Okay, so the whole original design was to make a spinning real shooter, but that all fell to pieces when we ran out of pieces. So uh, we scrapped that immediately and moved on to a catapult. And our original catapult design was more vertical, but that also fell over. So we had to make a new base. And we came up with a longer, more horizontal design for our catapult with a bunch of rubber bands, which seemed to help a lot. And the loader at the end is pretty stable. Yeah, let's just talk about the design. Uh, we want to rotate the two arms, <coughs> rotate 360 degrees, which is uh, except one ball. And all the two more arms. So the two curved arms like this, they just want to rotate, which is except one ball. Yeah. Something about the loader. Yeah, not too complicated about that. And then yeah, the just force that connected because when it launches it, it just kind of moves it around. Bands connected to the arm for obviously a quicker launch. Some other are shot. Yeah. So, like you already said, we tried to make two other designs, but we failed with those. And so, <coughs> this one, I guess, didn't launch fast enough, so we added the rubber bands, like we said. And it was unstable, so we added the loader part to the launcher. We added the crossbars, and then that was still unstable, so we added another set of crossbars onto that. And that's about it. That one of the biggest yeah. trials was getting the loader to sit still yeah. every time the arm came up because it shakes. <laughs> every time we fire the loader, the ball loader would come out of alignment and just fling the ball out of the catapult arm. Essentially, we did. We tried doing the same thing as that group with the two tires spinning. That thing only went like what, about four <coughs> inches? The yeah. ball would just roll off. It was not fast enough. And then with the vertical, right here, it says we tried building a vertical catapult so the body would stand up. So it was like a lot higher. And like every time you tried launching it, it was just tip over like that. More like that, um, but. Yeah. And just we, fell just, over. we just scrapped those ideas because they didn't work. Uh, it's just us trying to build the loader originally. Uh, that was the issue, but it just wasn't working, so we scrapped that idea. And the difficulties we faced. We went through three different designs, so that was pretty difficult and irritating. Um, the ball loader was the biggest issue, so it only takes one ball at a time, and it doesn't knock over the ball, that type of deal, you know. So we simplified it's, it. Yeah, kind of went down to just one motor and two arms. Really simple, nothing crazy about it. Um, another issue was placement of the loader. We didn't know if we wanted to place it by the caster or on the side. The side. So we just placed it right next to the arm. <laughs> um, and securing the loader, that was really difficult, I guess. We just did two supports on each side. Um, the program was kind of an issue as well. We couldn't get it to loop, so we just uh, revised and made it so the program, every time we put the trigger, it does it three times consecutively, as many times as it Well, not as many times as just three times. Yeah. So they will shoot three balls and you know more. Um, and obviously the support system of the body will have two legs right here. Yeah. These two. They just kept breaking, so we connected it. Four connectors, so that worked pretty well. And I already talked about the first uh, so the first command of the program it rotates the arm ten degrees down so the ball rolls off the loader will actually land in the arm instead of not hit the arm. Because we yeah. started here. Yeah, it goes so down 10 more degrees. It goes 10 degrees down. So it goes down to the bottom, and then so the ball lands in the arm. The second command is the loader arm rotates 360 degrees. So the two arms rotate 360 degrees, taking a ball and putting it into the arm. And the third command, that's when it shoots it. The arm rotates counterclockwise at a full power. And uh, fourth command, uh, it rotates back same exact amount of degrees. We had some spare parts, so we made a trigger for the firing device. Yeah, that's part of the design we to have it. Every time we pull the trigger, it goes on to the next command. It doesn't necessarily shoot every time we pull the trigger, it just goes to the next command. Um, and then the, this process is repeated three times. That's our program, and that's our robot.
Are you person? Yep. Thank you.